Hello everyone, welcome to the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, that was my attempt at a, a funny little intro, and boy did it fall flat. That's fine. Uh, my name is Dizzy, uh, this is one of my favourite games to play uh, and stream for you guys. Uh, we're going to be jumping in fairly soon-ish, just as soon as the thing's finished loading. Uh, I thought today we would... we're sticking with Hirschfelden. Uh, as we have been for the last few streams. Uh, I thought today we'd uh, mix up our loadout just a little bit. Well, we're currently down in this canyon, which is very pretty, but has nothing in it. Uh, so if I head into my inventory, I think I'm gonna take off everything in terms of weapons and ammo, because I want to try out uh, we'll keep this. Take that off now. We'll keep our callers and we'll keep our binoculars and stuff. I wanted to try out a gun that I've never actually really had a chance to use yet. And that is. Uh, that is not in this list. Where are you? There we go. The King 470 DB Apex. Um. He's a big boy. Uh, it says, A big double that demands respect from even the most skilled hunters. The 470DB lives up to its name in stature, efficiency, as well as cost. <laughs> With enough firepower to instantly take down nearly any animal, the king is designed to give hunters a fighting chance when pit against animals that wouldn't be faced by more traditional ammunition. Quick to load up, incredibly powerful and double barreled to even out any hunter's odds in the perilous African wilderness. So I assume this thing is designed for wildebeest and lions, the two really big boys uh, out on the Africa map. We're not in Africa, we're in Germany, but we have uh, a hefty opponent of our own in the shape of the bison. Ah uh, yeah, this is what they, this is what they fire, the .470 Nitro Express Full Metal Jacket Bullet, which is a, a, a terrifying world, word salad. Penetration 100. Recommended class is 9. It's literally just for the biggest of boys. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna shape our loadout around using this. I think I might also want to pop on a shotgun. Um, oh, you're a 12 gauge shotgun. You're a little sister to the 12 gauge. How is a 20 gauge smaller than a 12 gauge? That's just silly. <laughs> Um, we've got lots of 20s, we've got 112. What shotgun ammo do I have? <laughs> we've got 12 GA buckshot, 20 GA birdshot and slugs. These slugs are 50 meters for class 4 to 7. Do we have anything that's class 8 on this map? I have a secret suspicion that we do. Uh, uh well done. Sorry, I'm googling it. Animals. We don't have any class eights. We have class one, two, three, four, and six. Um, we have buckshot. Yes. Uh, shotguns. Uh, so this is one we've got. Ranking the shotgun. Oh, okay. Apparently that's the thing we already have. What's the compatible items? So 12 J buckshot is good for classes 2 to 5. We don't have enough for birdshot with the shotgun. Wow. Um, or for slugs with the shotgun. Which I find kind of surprising. All four scopes. Yeah, so we don't have very much shotgun score. This is one of the reasons why I want to bring out a shotgun, is because we're not very good at using them currently. Uh, oh, we've got a 20 gauge. We've got loads of 20 gauges. Compatible items. Buckshot will do classes 2 to 4. Slugs will do classes 4 to 7. They're only effective at very close range. 
damage. And there's also there's birdshot, and there's steel birdshot. Lead-free, non-toxic ammunition, tested and adhering to all local and overseas hunting restrictions. How much does it cost? It costs the same. I'm not sure what the difference is. At all. <laughs> I have zero idea what the difference is between these two things. They don't have any penetration or expansion at all, so I can't really, like, tell. Um, let's grab, I guess, the 20 gauge buckshot. Um... Because between this shotgun and all its various ammunitions and the king, we can take down anything that's here. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different varieties of the Cavisham Steward. And there's a bajillion different types of the Strachan. I think I want the red one. Uh, anyway, let's grab how many of these we got. Let's have 39 of these. Have 40 of these. Well, let's have at least 40 of them on us. Okay. So, 20J bird shot, buckshot, slug. I have not done very much um, shotgun hunting at all in this game. Because at close range, like, you know, it's a little. Why would you use a, a, a shotgun when you've got a bow, right? Um, I've also never used this bow, even though it looks really cool. Uh, so let's get this shotgun on. Um, I feel like I've got enough range. Cause I, like something like this, how do you get within 25 meters of a, of a rabbit or a bird to actually shoot it? That's the thing that gets me. Because the, the, certainly on um, Leighton, the ducks don't often come down within 20 meters of the shore and even if they do it's pretty tricky to get within let's say 50 meters of a duck because they are particularly observant little blighters um i want something to round out the set i could grab a crossbow uh, are there any weapons in the store that, I, that look interesting that I've never tried? Oh, actually, you know what I could grab that I've never used? Where is it? Coachmate, lever action, 0.4570. Hmm. Uh, store. If I scroll down, so what have I got? I've got this, I've got the 300 canning magnum available to me. Because I've got plenty of money. Uh, I've got 332,000. So I've got plenty of money for whatever rifle I want. This is for moose hunting. Go to a rifle for large game in the Yukon. So your third class says seven to nine, okay. Um with the Echoes thirty point oh six, which is actually free if I want it. I guess that's a DLC one. Ah, oh, the point three oh three. I've I've been kind of wanting to try out the point three oh three for a while. Um We've got the Calm 0.22H, which is a small game hunter. Reliably dispatched not just rabbits and birds, but also small predators that would threaten property and livestock. Okay. We've got the 6.5mm Lightning, a 
modern bolt action rifle manufactured by Swedish weaponsmiths. So this is locked, apparently, but it would be free. What are you for? Your class is 4 to 8. Okay. Um, we've got the Violent, who I love. We've got the Vasquez Cyclone. Uh, that's for sort of small to medium sized things. The Whitlock Model 86, a 30 30 lever action rifle. Uh, oh, and this is, I think, one of the modern rifles. Well, there, there's a, a modern rifles pack that I might have. I'm guessing that's these guys down here at the bottom. Let's pull out my. Uh, let's pull out my Coachmate 4570, and let's grab the arrow for it. As I've said, these soft point flat bones. Uh, we've got soft point or hollow point, and we've got the, the soft point, which is the one with better penetration, which matters, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh gosh, we've been in the menu for so long it started raining. <laughs> Wow, uh, new mission available, Jaeger number 6. What's that? Oh, that's that one. We've already been after that one for a while. Um, okay, let's have a look at our inventory in sensible view. Right, we'll put the coachmate on one. Uh, we'll put the shotgun on, I guess, Three. That's my typical shotgun one, and that's the reason why my, my number three slot has been empty for a while. Oh, we need a sight for the shotgun. Strecker, compatible items. Marksman exact reflex sight. Right, that's for that. Sights. Uh, what sight do you need? You don't need the Hyperion. You don't need the Hyperion either. Oh, that sounds so pretty. Items. Helios 48X32. And. Marksman exact only. Okay, right. Well, reflex slicing, huh? That's going to be a whole nother thing. Uh, right, so. Uh, oh, I need to put the ammo on. Uh, let's put Buckshot on you. So you are for classes 4 to 9. So that's a fair few things. This is for anything that that isn't. So at the moment, and then we've got Birdshot we can switch in. We can also switch in a Slug if we want it. Okay, so... It's been a long old time since I've used this scope. Why me? The Nox. Right, that. Nothing on 4. And then reflex sight on the king. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, I need more ammo for the king. Okay, deck. So now let's figure out where we want to go to to hunt some bison. I think, what's the way is the wind blowing? The wind is blowing to the east. I think I maybe want to... If the wind is blowing to the east, I might want to head to this tent and then move up and around. We're not doing mission-y particularly things today. 
Um, yeah, I want to head to here and head up and round. And skirt the lake. Ah. Well, what straight away there's chunks there, right? Eh? But anything that was nearby will have run off. It's a red deer. Oh, we have a red deer that we need to, uh... What do you need? Bison mating call. Fantastic. I have accidentally... <laughs> um... Crouched down. Ah, the mating call is fantastic, but... Getting up here might prove a little challenging. Can I zoom in until that's visible? Thanks. Uh, what time of day is it? 11.14. For some reason I thought it was later. I'll keep this one on just so we can track the number of rodeo we've got. Yeah, we need one more. Me says I'm going to skirt the edge of the lake. Also, me immediately goes the opposite direction, following a call. Now, I don't know that there's going to be bison around the edge of this lake, but the, in the bit of the lake that we've done, which is this, we found one, two, three different bison need zones. So I assume that this is where the bison really love to hang out. Now everything I've got on me, apart from, well, uh, what's the effective range on this? Yeah, everything I've got on me is a fairly close range weapon. So, we have to be in full sneaky sneaky dizzy mode. Oh, bison. It would be helpful if I had a bison core, of course. Where are you? What do you do? Actually, what time is it? Are they coming down to drink? They might be coming down to drink. This is almost unintentionally the perfect time for what I'm doing. I'm crouched sprinting, but I feel like I move so slowly. Bison are such big boys, they move so fast. Right, come on you lot. Where are you? There's a track. Let's buy some poop. There's a bison.
Oh my gosh, there's quite a few of them. Uh, that's the wrong one. Why are you running? Don't run. I'm not spooky. Ah, they were running because I was upwind of them. They must have smelled me. Right, we are about at the edge of our effective range. They're coming back. I want to get in the tree. I really wish you would let me spot these. Please get up. Why aren't you running? Oh, you're not running because I had my caps key set wrong. Oh. Okay. Well, I consider that a success, I think. Boom. So he dropped pretty fast. Oh, did we level up? What did we get? Okay, fairly nice. There was a, there was a, a level three there, who I was sort of I thought I had, but obviously not. No? I don't know why I got the little you've done well flag. So. Oh, hello. I don't really want to kill you on account of. Oh, I forgot what button whistle is bound to. System key bindings. Getting closer. Where the hell is Whistle? I'm gonna get killed. It's some slash. Yeah, you run off. You've got to run at least far enough away that if I shoot you, you don't put hunting pressure on top of your feed zone, your drink zone. Okay? Then I can shoot you as much as I want. But we can't kill the drinking zone. I don't know how far they run when you whistle, because I almost never whistle. Which is why I can never remember what the key binding is for it. 
but I'd say that was a pretty lovely start to the day. Oh, also my ear has absolutely, uh, it's popped. If you've ever been up in an aeroplane, um, you know how your ear goes? Well, my ears do that on their own naturally, because I'm all sorts of broken. Um, if you hear me snuffling a lot, it's to try and help stabilize the pressure in my ear so they don't do that. Oh my goodness gracious. Right, we are now far enough away that I can shoot more bison if I want to. All I have to do is come back. How far away is that? That's within render distance. Just about. I hear them. I don't see them. Hell, oh, that wasn't a good shot. Come on, come on. Nope. It's a good shot. Oh, there might be. No. They're going back past me towards their feet, their drinking zone, annoyingly. Uh, if there hadn't been quite so much hill in the way, that would have been perfect. Move your head! Move your head! Move your head! Right, it was an okay enough shot. Oh, there's another one. Come on, come back at me. Come at me, bruh. No, not gonna. Okay, that's fine. Blimey, this thing is terrifyingly effective, though. Yeah, it's not my favourite shot, trying to get a head-on thing. I was hoping to be able to get through this shoulder. That's fine. Right, okay, the drinking zone is safe. That's the important thing. Oh, I like this gun. I like this gun. It feels good. To use. I don't quite exactly know why, but it does. It's a very different experience to what I've been doing previously, which is mostly using like a super high zoom in scope from 100 to 300 meters. It feels very different to that. Well, I am wandering along here, principally picking up bison. I would love to get some smaller game, so that I can get my uh, shotgun score up. And yeah, this is this is a little bit the problem with Hirschfeld, is that I'm right at the water's edge, but there's only half a meter's visibility along the shore. You know, anything that's further in than that is in the tree line. And because the animals don't actually have to be at the water's edge, they need to be within sort of about 100 metres of a point that is itself within you know, a few tens of metres of the water's edge in order to drink. Uh, it means they're, uh, they're quite well protected in a way that the real animals might not necessarily be. This is a little clearing up here I want to have a look at.
But I think this is a good... Uh, uh, we've done a good showing off of the king already. Just blasting down three bison like they were no trouble at all. Anyone here? Doesn't look like it. It's not that much of a clearing. Okay. It's onwards and northwards, although annoyingly, the wind is. Hmm. I was thinking, oh well, the, it's blowing eastward, so it'll just be blowing out over the water. But I'm, look, a lot of this is going northeast. Which means that the wind is not very far off from my vector. That was a drop of rain. I might be getting a little bit more of that, which is lovely. Partly it's lovely because I love the rain in this game. Partly it's lovely because I have a perk, uh, two perks I think, uh, or skills, skills it'll be, uh, that, that make me a better hunter in the rain. They make me quieter. I wonder how much inventory space I have. That doesn't say. I wonder if I could have brought something else along with me if I'd wanted to. I think I was pushing 18-ish, which generally isn't enough room for another weapon. Most weapons are... the, the two-handed weapons are mostly about four in weight. Bows are about two and a half. The handguns might be... I don't know how much the handguns weigh. They might be one or two. Um, but I would only have been able to take them if they were at one. And it's not like, it's not like there's anything a handgun can do in my hands that a shotgun can't do. Like a shotgun, a handgun has a longer effective range, but I don't think I can hit telling shots at 40 meters, let's say, with a handgun reliably. I'm getting better at, at hitting with the bow now that I've got the rangefinder sight. But even then, when I take a shot at 40 meters with the dot telling me where to point it, I don't always take amazing shots. Which might partly be because of wind. Uh, wind might be a thing that affects my shots that I have no way of accounting for yet. Um, this is cool. This little bit. They've cut down a couple of trees. We've, uh, it's quietened down.
I think part of the the reason why the 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 king feels quite a fun weapon to use is this particular sight. The movement while you're you're zoomed in feels quite good. Um, because like the the handgun. Using a reflex sight on the handgun, you don't feel like you can hit anything with it. Using a scope on the handgun, you feel like you can hit anything with it. But a lot of the time when you're using the handgun, you're sort of at a, a bit of a funny range where if it moves, it moves faster than you can reasonably move with the scope. Um, but if it's not moving, why are you using a handgun? You know, if it's not moves, moving, why aren't you using a bow? Or, you know, or if it's far away, why aren't you using... If it's at 60 meters range, let's say, why aren't you using a rifle? Uh, they're sort of... And maybe this is why, in the real world, I feel like a lot of people don't do that much hunting with handguns. Although I could be wrong about that. Um, but there, there's sort of no real good niche for them. Because they're supposed to be a, a, a sidearm personal defense weapon. And they work wonderfully for that job on people. Because when you put a bullet in a person, they tend to go down fairly quickly. But when a bison is, is charging at you, and I don't know how true to life this is. Maybe this is just an artifact of game mechanics. But when a bison in this game is charging at you, and you put a handgun round in it, even the biggest handgun round you have, it keeps charging at you for a good while. Now we've been to areas near here. Because we've got need zones unlocked. There's a bison feeding zone, but it won't be unlocked for a while. What's this? This is also a bison feeding zone that won't be unlocked for a while. Uh, so we might just be a bit early for the bison here, unfortunately. But uh, sadly, nobody else seems to be here either. What time did the roe deer drink? One of these was a roe deer. Ah, uh, no, we're a bit early for roe deers drinking as well. Although it's interesting that the little road is are brave enough to drink at sort of midday. Maybe it's like, you know, I guess there's no real predators around we are in Germany. Yeah, the little snippet of music you heard at the very start was from a song entitled I Am King, uh, which is from the movie Dougal and the Blue Cat, because I was a 90s kid, uh, and I, I will aggressively import 90s kid media into all of your lives, whether you want me to or not. Uh, I just remembered I have to actually minimize OBS because it, it will have made the entire qu the stream, it's quality of the entire stream up to this point juddery and horrible. Uh, which is unfortunate. So apologies for that, guys. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was sort of, you know, I, I knew I wanted to do Call of the Wild today. I wasn't necessarily feeling, because I've been doing garden work all morning. So I wasn't necessarily... Oh, hello. 
There's someone over there. I think that's another bison. That is another bison. It's a herd of another bisons. Ideally, I'd like to get to a spot where I can compel both of them. Why do they do this head move? It's really annoying. I need to be at a distance where I can actually see both of them well enough to take a shot. Unfortunately, this guy's in the reeds. So he's being a real pain. Oh, hell. Okay, he's obviously spotted me. Have you, have you gone behind a rock? Please don't go behind a rock. Or a tree. Neither of those is allowed. Hell. Yeah, because they're in the rushes, I can't spot them properly. And I can't take a shot, really, without the outline, because I can't see them well enough to take the shot. Okay, they're coming out of the rushes. I keep hitting scroll up. Oh, come on! That was too far forward. That was too far back. Uh, help! Oh, God. Uh-oh. I hit T and it opened the uh, chat. Oh, that was a shot to the face. Well, he's dead. It was very sloppy. He's dead. Right, where did I hit him? I hit him way too far forward the first time. I actually can't see where this shot is. I don't think I hit him at all that time. And then that was the good shot. Oh, that wasn't in his face! That's nice. Unfortunately, because I hit her three times. Uh, no dice on the old full score. Well, that's okay. Oh, I should stop running. Right. So, drinking zone there. We did fire off three shots. So I don't expect the bison to come back. But then again, the last lot did. You're up over this way, aren't you? Well, that means I'm not down. Uh, I'm not upwind of you. I'm more or less downwind of you, to be honest. That bodes well. There are, however, lots of rocks here. Which does not work to my advantage. Are you guys coming back? Yes. Yes, you are. Silly new cows. Ow, please move! Ow! For the love of God, please move! Ugh. I can never, ever, ever hit the right buttons when I need to run. I'm, I'm trying to sprint, and I've blooming jumped. Oh, that was a bad shot. Right, okay, I think we might have smushed this bead zone, unfortunately. 
We'll see when we go down. What a disaster. Total disaster. Made a complete mess of that. And I don't even know where any of those blood splatters were. Because I got lost when I was panicking. Um, trying to shoot bison. Because I, I couldn't sprint. Do you know why I couldn't sprint? I couldn't sprint because every time I tried to sprint, I hit the tab button instead. You know what tab does? Absolutely not. Nothing useful, it does that. Um, right, that was a moderately good head on shot. I think I hit one other bison. God only bloody knows where that's going to be. This drinking zone does still seem to be up, which is handy. Right, the middle of this flat is somewhere a little bit behind me. I guess I was here, shooting up. Um, didn't want to do that, I want to do that. This is not the tracks of a wounded animal. I need to find some blood. There's so many tracks around. Oh, that might be blood. Boom. No organs hit. Okay, you might not be a dead bison then. So that'll be why the need zone is still up, because I haven't killed you. Now ideally, I sort of don't want to, because I don't want to smash the need zone. But I wouldn't mind getting your friends. And if you do go down, I do want to obviously pick you up. I have no idea how deadly the king is on a flesh wound. My guess is probably still not amazing. Well, you've taken 50%. Where are you? You're here. Oh, I might just blast all of them at this point. I'd shoot you, but the rocks hitbox will take that. Yeah, I sort of would recommend running, honestly. Hello. Are you going for me? What's the what's the plan here, guys? I will. I will do it. I'm not that attached to the drinking zone, you know. I, I was hoping to check to see if that was the one I'd hit earlier. Apparently I've hit you twice. Oh yeah, I did just shoot you twice. Oh, hello. There's a zone up here. I need some. I don't think it can be that, I think it's too far away. So... The 
the Brodia rest zone that has just finished. Oh no, it's not quite just finished, it's just finishing, but of course all the Rodian will have long since finished off, so I started learning off king rounds. That being said, I don't know that bigger guns cause more hunting pressure. Right, you're not wounded either, so I haven't hit you before. Oh my god. Hot shot, I guess. Bang! Ah, I think I just killed that Rudy Eat Zone. Ah, uh, rest zone, even. Oh, he's coming right towards me. Ah, uh, I need to get out of the way. Oh, you might have been the injured one. I think you were the injured one. Yeah, you were the injured one. So that was my first shot. Oh, It was just underneath the heart! It was just too low, and then that was the second one, which actually was just a finishing shot, but would have killed you anyway. Okay, well that zone still seems to exist. The Rodia zone is very dead. Very dead and gone. Right, is it actually wait, is this the wounded one? No, this is a rodeo track. You're unwounded. You're ball droppings. Okay. Right, my guess is we've uh, pretty much exhausted that herd. There's only one member left. So we should probably... Oh, maybe there's two members left. I mean, they might continue coming back. As they have done so far. But we are right on top of another need zone here that I don't really want to splurge. So let's head this way. Get out of the hunting pressure. If they're smart, they'll stay away from it anyway. Because that's how hunting pressure is supposed to work. It's supposed to push animals away. It might just be because I'm quite good at managing my hunting pressure most of the time, but I can't say I've ever seen any animals... Or I can't say I've ever seen areas with low hunting pressure have fewer animals in them. You know, I can't say I've ever noticed animal tracks take a detour around an area of hunting pressure. Sure. Is that a clearing over there? That's the, the river over there. That's what that is. Um, I'm very happy with the king. Now, admittedly, bison are sort of a weird thing to hunt because half the time they come at you. Not only do they come at you, but they're also stupid enough, like a moose, to return to a place where they were shot at before. Uh, you know, something like a fox, you couldn't hunt like this anyway, because when a, a fox knows you exist, it's it's already gone half an hour ago. Uh, I just realised I didn't actually send out my tweet to tell everyone that I was live, so I'm going to do that now. Tiss, tiss, dizzy, very sloppy, very sloppy. Right, okay, we're back. Hope I didn't miss any animals running past my face while I was looking at the other screen. Tapped out. <laughs> that would be real embarrassing if everyone watching was like, Dizzy! There's a thing! And I was, I was busy tabbed out and tweeting. 
Uh, okay, we are out of the hunting pressure now. This is this is the only problem I have with rifle hunting is that I get I'm very paranoid and panicky about hunting pressure. Like it's a well implemented mechanic. It's just the kind of mechanic. Uh, I wonder how fresh these tracks are. It's the kind of mechanic that makes me. Uh, Pa uh, not paranoid. Very old, okay. What's the word? Neurotic. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, I have, off stream, been playing a little bit of, uh, leg uh not Legacy of the Duelist, uh, oh, okay, this might be a chance for us to get our shotgun. If and only if we can find this way down. What's it? He fled. Yeah, the, with this bush like this, there was not much chance of getting him, which is a shame because he would have finished my quest. Ah, oh, that was that was a rough patch there, just all dense vegetation, and like I got to the point where I could sort of see him when I was. I, I obviously I, I could see him when I was binoculars because it wouldn't let me spot him. I couldn't find his outline, and then when you get back to the site, he's just sort of like an orange splodge on the background of kind of brownish orange, which is not very conducive for hunting him. And maybe I could have fired off a shot and just sort of hoped. Uh, maybe I should have done, I don't know. I'm not used to shotgun hunting, I don't know how I don't know exactly how spray and prey you can be. But, uh... You know, at the end of the day, if I didn't need to take a shot, I say if I didn't need to take a shot, I never need to take a shot, but, you know, if, if, if it's not going to be a good shot, don't take it, I think. 
Yeah, that's both from a, a rifle safety and a hunting ethics and a cost effectiveness standpoint because it costs money to fire guns. Ammunition costs money. The amount of money it costs is fairly trivial when compared to the amount of money you receive, but it does cost money. Oh. Right, it is one o'clock, that means we are just about an hour in. I don't know if this will be a two or a three hour uh, stream today. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I'm, ha I'm having a good time with the king. But of course, when the bison run out, the king is less exciting while the king's useless. Um. <laughs> what? How can I take my buckshot? I take two to four. So if I meet a red deer, it's slugs only. <laughs> Shotgun slugs are sort of an interesting beast. I've only used them really once before. And that was because I had a quest to down a bear with a slug. I don't think I've ever killed anything with a slug other than that one bear for that quest. Uh, this was in Leighton Lakes. Uh, it was... I mean, bears are, are rough to get close to. I think red deer are fairly tricksy as well. And that's the main thing I'd be using the slug on. Um, because there's no class 5 here, it's 4, blank, 6, blank. Nine. Are you on on the far back? Well, there's no way of me getting to you, but it's worth having a look. I've got the, the coach mate actually, if I want to... You, you, you take. Yeah, you, you'll take a red deer. I have actually never fired you. Oh, I also seem to have lost some damage at some point. I don't quite remember when that happened. Theoretically, the coachmate will take a bison. Oh, I thought that was a bison. I was very excited. I was like, oop, time to pop out the king again. Nope. King staying indoors. What time is it? 2.20. Uh, so the bison drinking is sort of finishing now. The roe deer drinking is just beginning. So that's something um, to look out for. <laughs> As if it heard me. Uh, this gun is too big for the roe deer. We are really on the shotgun these guys. Now you're back in the, in the forest. Are you going to be a pain like the last one was? You could even be the same one as the last one. Stranger things have happened. I once tracked a coyote on Lake for about seven kilometers. Like, I tracked it far enough that it was doubling back on itself. Um, eventually gave up, because I'd taken a few pot shots off at it, never managed to get anything close. It was a quite a high level one, which is part of the problem. Um, I'd taken a few pot shots off, decided to give up on it. Later in the same session, I found tracks from the same coyote, and I you know they're from the same coyote because the the tracks on your map, so like uh, these tracks from here, like they were from half halfway across the map. Well, they went from halfway across the map. They were from a good kilometer or two away, uh, and they were they were highlighted in purple. It's just like you little thing.
Wait, was that a good Ow! I have no idea if that was a good shot or not. I'm not sure if I've ever killed anything with buckshot. Oh, I don't think I have, because I don't think I've ever owned buckshot before, have I? It's dead. I'm not actually certain if I've ever killed anything with birdshot. I've not done- I've done very, very little with shotguns. Very little with shotguns. I might have killed some rabbits with birdshot. I don't think I've ever killed a duck with birdshot. <laughs> I might have killed a couple of other things with slugs, actually. On Layton. Right. Harvest for Rodeo. Hello? Hang on. Oh, okay. Uh, there was absolutely no penetration on that whatsoever. Okay, so. Good to know. Buckshot. Not good for trophy harvesting. The big ones are the ones that eat the most crops. Take them out. Harvest two rodeo weighing at least 25 kilograms each down to the 270 caliber rifle. Well, I'm not carrying a 270 caliber rifle. I'm sort of hoping you're going to lead me to a drinking zone. Oh, you are a run. Yeah, you probably have run off, haven't you, actually? I did fire a shotgun at your friend. <laughs> Someone fired shotguns off at my friends. I, I might not stick around. I mean, like, if, if a friend got hit by a shotgun, I would attempts to stick around to help. But uh he said friend was beyond help. Or if I was a deer and so didn't know medicine. I mean I still don't know medicine, but like I have a vague idea of if someone gets hit by a, a bullet you know, put pressure on wound, attempt to to stop bleeding. Oh hell. Nope. Uh oh, stuck in a tree. Right. No organs hit again. Okay. He looked like he had quite a nice rack. If this was a good road deer and I've messed messed him up by using a shotgun. I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Yeah, there's not, not much penetration going on. It would have been a gold. That's okay. Um, I might have scuppered up in his own that was near here. Ah, I see this deer has done the whole let's just not leave any footprints to avoid being trapped thing. Luckily they don't get far. Hmm. 
Also no organ tips. Okay, so the shotgun's good for downing them, but uh, it's not particularly good for actually getting trophies off them, which I'm surprised by. Because like, that was at 19 meters, it said, so that was you know, within the effective range by one-fifth. It's not like we were, we were pushing the limits of the ammo. But uh, it just doesn't have the penetration. I wonder if that's because I'm using a 20 and not a 12. I wonder if that's what the difference is. Blimey, that spooked me. Oh, hello. Uh, right, let's head over here, I guess. What's that? That's another rodeo. He's back that way and downwind of me, though. There's no way I'm getting to within 25 meters of him when he's downwind of me, and I've already blasted all of his friends forever. I was wondering if this was going to be a stream where I only harvest bison, but we've, we've got a few deer. Hello. We've got a fair few footprints around as well. No makers of footprints. They're very old. Oh, they're boar tracks. Okay. I mean, the, the spread of pellets that they're hitting them suggests my shotgun shots are good shots. My shotgun just isn't a great shotgun, which is a shame because it's a very pretty shotgun physically. Well, you can't really see it actually in the first person. If I put it on wheel mode, like, that's a nice. I love the red handle. It's the only time you'll ever see me voluntarily in wheel mode, <laughs> is to show off what, what my gun looks like. I find it very interesting how the animals are distributed, because like, for example, we've not seen a fallow deer further west of, the, of this house. Like, this entire, I don't know what, bottom fifth of the map, not a single fallow deer have we seen in this area. But I don't know why. Like, I wouldn't say that the terrain here is hugely different from the terrain up in sort of a Peter's Hainish where we were finding fallow deer. Like okay, it's very different to the Schoenfeld fields and it's very different to Rathenfeld where there were no animals at all ever. But uh... It's different to Rathenfeld because there's open space whereas Rathenfeld... I mean I can see that there are farmers fields in Rathenfeld. But like, it felt like it was just a, a claustrophobic nightmare any time you went off the road in Rathenfeld. Um, we found some more deer tracks. Yeah, so I, I don't know why fallow deer don't seem to be over here. But there are loads and loads and loads of bison over here. Now that's probably because it's fairly open. And then maybe I guess they're, they're further away from the agricultural areas that are in Petershain. Maybe that's why. Maybe the fallow deer love... Well, I mean, Petershain's not that agricultural, is it? Where's Petershain? No, Petershain's barely agricultural. I just happen to have been to some of the agricultural bits. 
Although this is the least agricultural bit of the map that I've been to so far. There's a lovely hillside over there. I'm still on the trail of this deer that's been gone for quite a while, I reckon. Oh, there's a lovely hillside over here as well. See, I assume this is the kind of thing that the bison like, having access to these fairly hefty clearings. It's possible that the bison clear the fairly hefty clearings. They're big animals. Well, they're obviously not in-game, but like, ecologically. Uh, Right, can I have an examine? No, oh, okay. There we go. Right, so, oh, road dear boy, you went down that way. I'm gonna head this way. Skirt along the edge of this open space. Try and keep an eye on the riverside if I can. Where's the way across? The way across isn't until up here. And then we have a nice little gully. This is very like, actually. This feels very like a bit of Leighton. In the Leighton map, in the top left-ish, maybe middle left-ish, there's... the river comes up, there's a bridge, although the bridge is here, and there's a, uh, the river comes up and past, and then there's a, a gully that goes this way. This looks like a bit of a valley here around this, with the river going down. It feels very familiar. I wonder if our low dear friend came out of that area, or if they're still there. They could be drinking. Yes, drinking time. Or 5.30. Hmm. Well, I've accidentally wandered into a hedge. Hmm. Uh, right, if we want a uh, red deer, we want the slugs. Oh. This is very like changing out the arrows in my bow. And it's also a very close range weapon. Basically, you're trading range for versatility. Oh, oh this is a horrible bit of tree. I think we're going to have another Rodeo scenario on our hands. Although the slug at least I know has... Oh, I might have used the 20 gauge slug before. I was about to say I know the slug has decent penetrating power. I actually don't, because I don't know which slug I used. I'm coming, my dearest. Oh, the wind's spun around, it's now facing south. 
needs to be a let off. Okay, duck. Um, I can't see a thing from here, which is real bad news, dears. Oh, there's a male as well. That is good news. It'd be better news if I could see him. There's a female. I can take if the male isn't to be found. Might have to. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I should have just let him walk past. Boom, there he is. Oh, come on, let me see you. Hit him. Okay, and I hit your friend. Oh, you even went and sort of died together. That's that would be sweet if I hadn't just shot you. Okay. Right, okay, yeah, the first shot was a bad shot, second shot was a decent shot, so that's alright. Distance, 10 meters, blimey. Well, it's fine, we got him. Oh, I got a level up! Fantastic. No skill or perk points. I wonder if I- I wonder how my shotgun score is doing. I don't know how to check it when I'm out in the field. That was productive. What was that? Who was that? Is that a hog? Is that a hog noise? I shouldn't be calling them towards me actually. That sounded like the hog noise. Oh, I hope you can't hear. There's some sort of industrial work going on very far away from me. It's uh, leading to a sort of a vacuum cleaner type noise in the distance. I'm just going to shut my window, see if that helps. Oh, I'm caught on the bush. Oh, my health's a bit low as well, isn't it? That's no good. Where are we heading? I guess we're heading towards the bridge. Nope, that didn't do anything. Can I... Okay. No waypoints for me, I guess. Oh, man. Noise pollution is a real problem, even out here in the suburbs. Like, I'm not even in... City City. I'm in suburbs, and noise pollution is a problem here. And there's... sort of not much is to be done about it. Like, I can't stop people from cleaning the streets. Like, we need clean streets. I was about to say I can't stop people from mowing their lawns. Perhaps we should be able to stop people from mowing their lawns at least quite as much, because Lawns are an ecological travesty. Hello. Here's a track or two. I wonder who's left you. Oh, and it's raining. Anyone about? No, no one about, that's fine. I'll see what this track is before deciding whether to switch my shotgun ammo off or not. 
That's a deer track, so this is probably also a deer track. Yeah, this is going to be from the same herd that I scattered before. Uh, oh my gosh, you can still hear it! Oh, I can still hear it, even through the bloody closed windows. Nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Utter, utter nightmare. This has been a bit more of a, an involved, intense stream than my usual Call of the Wild Fair. Usually they're very chill and I'm nearly falling asleep, but uh, whatever it is, perhaps it's the, the, the necessity to hunt close range. Perhaps it's the fact that I'm using a, a loud weapon rather than the quiet bow, but, uh, so I don't feel the need to be quiet myself. That's what I find. I'm definitely, I'm a lot quieter when I'm hunting something from very far away or when I'm hunting something using the bow. Like, I feel like that quiets me down. Like the the king of the shotgun, they're kind of they're quite they're up close in your face weapons. I also can't believe I jumped out of that red deer and actually got the shot off. Um, that was more bold than I've ever been hunting any animal in this game ever. Uh, we're heading up towards Enzoff Bridge, but we have actually been before. There is the bridge in question. What time is it? It's about 4 o'clock in game. I wonder if I want to try and... What way is the wind blowing? The wind's blowing south. I wonder if once I hit the bridge... Let's keep going north. There's nothing really there that I know of anyway. Uh, there's no roads to speak of. That might be a house, but I don't think I can get to it. Because the rivers here are a lot... The rivers in Lake Leighton are kind of... They're suggestions of where water might be. There's no hard and fast rule saying there will definitely be water in a spot on the map that, 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 that it says there's going to be water. And that means that there's quite a lot of land bridges. I assume it's supposed to represent that, like, there's rivers here, but they're, like, in a, in a low rain season, I guess, maybe. So you've got the, the paths across them. It might just be because people are bad at that design. Uh, I don't know. It's very convenient, um, but here in Hirschfelden, the rivers are, are actual uncrossable barriers without a bridge. There is, there is no getting... I'm not actually sure if I'm even going to be able to get across this bit, although that looks promisingly narrow. But yeah, there's, there's probably no way of getting from here to here. Uh, without going via Ernstdorf Bridge itself. Ooh, we've got more tracks. Who's this then? Probably already there. So I was hoping to treat the pipe a bit Oh, there they are. Well, that must have been an organ hit. I heard you. No, I think you've run off. That's okay. Can I have your track, please? Oh dear, drinking zone. Marvellous.
There we go, that actually hit you. Oh god, I was still using a slug. That's why it was an organ hit. Blimey. Uh, haha. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, we'll put the buckshot back on, and then we still won't actually get any harvest checks passed, because we'll never hit an organ uh, to save our lives. But it's fine. We found a zone. We've left a trail of hunting pressure all up the side of this lake. Um, it still looks pretty bad. Um, I was like, oh, how bad does it look? It looks pretty bad. I wonder what that droning noise is. It sounds too loud to be a lawnmower. Or it sounds too loud and too far away to be a lawnmower. Because if it was a lawnmower, I feel like I wouldn't be able to hear it. Oh, no, at all. I. It's actually not far away at all. <laughs> I can actually see the person mowing their lawn. Never mind. Just if Dizzy says a thing, just feel free to come. Right. Um, there's a little nice little lowland area here. We're going to have to go up quite a lot to get over this bridge if we want to. Well, we're going to have to get past the bridge, whether that's over it or under it. Uh, I guess the road deer probably came this way. Or came from this way, possibly, actually. Oh, I think my sound's gone in one ear again. So apologies if I... Um... There we go, got it back. Uh, there's a new set of tracks here. Mike's the one, Mike's the one. Who's this? Starting to get a little late. Oh, that's not that bad. Down with a 270 caliber rifle. Isn't that a bit big for a radio? 243? Sure. The 270? Are you, are you, are you something? You certain that's what you wish me to do? Uh, okay, we'll head up here. is or was sleeping. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to be very sneaky on account of Gog up hill. And you can't sneak up hills in this game, basically. Well, the fact that it slows you down makes you quieter, but you generally have to, like, stand up to do it. So I might have gotten away with it. Have a look out. Don't think anyone's still here. A little bit of a shame, but it's fine, we've got the zone. Oh, it's a foxy boy. Yeah, so they're not going to still be here. It's, uh, it's a little late for that. But, that's a good thing to have. Anything that helps you hunt foxes is a good thing to have. Oh, hello. Here over there. I've got to sort of awkwardly hide behind a tree. Where did you go? 
der. Every time I move, it makes a noise. Come here, dear. There you go. Right, didn't get far. Uh, oh, this is, I guess is the stream on my right. No, this is a path on my right. I wonder why a twelve gauge is bigger than a twenty gauge. What does gauge measure? I had sort of naively assumed that it was approximately equivalent to caliber, in that it would be a, a measure of, of barrel diameter. Oh, we actually hit a lung this time! Amazing! It is possible. It is possible to hit a lung. Uh, but if the 12 gauge is apparently bigger than the 20 gauge, because the 20 gauge is the smaller brother, then I don't know what it can be measuring. I mean, it would help if gun people weren't a bit silly about how they measure things. Like there don't there doesn't need to be all these different ways of talking about gun calibers. Like if a bullet is a point two two caliber or a twenty two caliber or a or a this, that and the other, just just settle on one way of talking about it, you know? Like why do I have guns that are hang on. Why do I have guns that are 0.47 and gauge and 0.45-70, whatever the hell that means, and I've got guns that are 7mm and, you know, like, just, just pick one. Pick one unit of measurement that I can compare all of my guns with. Uh, and talk about it consistently using one unit. I don't say two different things to mean the same thing. And this is probably, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say this is probably an America problem. This is probably the fact that Americans talk about guns a lot, love talking about guns, and love getting really jargony about guns. And also can't speak the English language very well. Come at me, linguists, I know. Um, like, uh, that must be the root of the problem. It's just, it's so daft. Like, what's bigger, a 7mm Magnum, or a 0.470 dB, or a 0.270, uh, whatever the 0.70 is called. Like, I'm pretty sure that the 0.470 has a wider gun barrel, and so a bigger bullet than the, the 0.270. Also, why is it the 0.270 and not the 0.27? Like, okay, the 0.243, sure, but why do you need the extra O on the end of the 0.270? Why? That's, that's not how you maths. You don't need it. Why is it there? Hi. Oh my gosh, it's a Fion. 
First time chat, just to F with me. Amazing. Hi there, Fionn. How are you doing? Oh, gosh, you're talking about the, the stuff. I didn't even realize. Yeah, I rant uh, a lot. Do you know, do you understand how bullet sizes work? Do you know what the difference between a 12 gauge and a 20 gauge shotgun is? I would question your your assessment of my skills, but thank you for the compliment. Um, I'm glad to hear you've been enjoying things. Uh, no idea what the numbers. You have no idea what the numbers mean. You just match the numbers to the right gun, and that's it. Well, yeah, that's that's about the level that I'm at as well. Um, Red Deer. I think that's just a water noise, I don't think that's a deer noise. Um, take way more care than I do in selecting bullets and guns. I mean, my loadout at the moment is a bit of a mess. It's just like, I wanted to use the big stupid gun. What can I do to mitigate the fact that I'm using one big stupid gun? You pick the biggest cattle weapon and go with that. I mean, there's that's a fairly sensible approach. Like it's just oh jeeba jeebus. <sighs> Hang on a sec. See if I can attract this guy. Oh, I have no. There's no point. There's no chance of if hunting him with a shotgun. Uh, he did make me jump out of my skin though. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the only reason why I can like take care with like my guns is because I have the wiki open. Yeah, 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 you're very pretty. But you'd be even prettier if you were over here with me being friends. Try harding it, a little bit of try harding it. Um, I, just, just, just a smidge of try harding, maybe, always. Uh, I don't know, I feel like my attitude is very relaxed. I feel like I Bob Ross this game a lot. Just like, you know, oh, it doesn't matter if you got away, there'll be another one. That's my attitude. That's going to be my attitude to this fox when he gets away. God, I hate that collar. It is the worst noise. God did not design our beautiful eardrums to be debased with that horrible Breaching noise. Do, 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 do. Right, there's your tracks. Will you have been going this way or further away? Big one is better than us. I don't object to the hog caller. It it does a little bit sound like a monster movie sound effect. Um which might be why I don't mind it, because I find it a little bit campy. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like somebody doing kind of a slightly comedic impression of a squealing hog. Those are footsteps. Where are they? And whose are they? Oh, God. I hear you, but I don't see you. Oh, hell. Um, nope, I want the coach mate. Don't know if I got him there. Uh, that's the first time I've ever fired this gun. Wow, was that it? Was that the reload? That was dead easy. Right, did I even hit you? Yes, I did! Oh, it's Yi. Hey there, Yi. How are you doing? Do do do. I actually shot the fox. That's a surprise. How good was the fox? It was a, that was an atrocious shot. Oh my god. That was an eight mythical difficulty fox. Uh, it would have been a gold, but uh, I shot it badly with the wrong gun. 
but it was a big enough gun that it still took the thing down. And at the end of the day, if I'm not messing up diamonds, does it matter that much if I mess them up? You're doing good. Awesome. Love to hear it. How long have we been going? It is quarter to two. I guess... Wait, what? Oh, that's over there. I guess this is probably going to be a three hour stream because I am absolutely loving this very not me hunting style. Um, oh, I think that was another spot of rain on the screen. Yep, here we go. He is excited. Anyone here? No, mm, okay, good. Good to go, good to go. Where are we? Where are we on the map? Okay. Oh, is it worth heading up the uh, heading up the riverside? Because um, the road they're about to finish their drinking times. You're happy, honestly. Good. Good. Uh, uh, how has your your hospital stuff been going? Oh, you did a little cattle stream today. When you say a little cattle stream, is this your idea of little or my idea of little? Because uh, my idea of a little number of cattle is about five. I'm thinking about that in my head, and I'm like... Five's like a medium number of cattle, actually. Five's not a little number of cattle. Four's a little number of cattle. Five's like a medium number of cattle. Five thousand, or possibly five thousand and nine, is not what I would describe as a little number of, little number of cattle. Hello, oh dear friend. Let's squeak back at you. Is there a rock on the other side of this tree? I hope not. Rocks are my sworn nemesis in this game. Oh, it is a rock. Ah, oh, but there's another tree that goes around the rock. Brains. Oh my gosh, that's a bison poop. Okay. Looks like the king might be back in action soon. Where the rack and the bison are going? Ah, the bison are going not this way. The bison are going west. 5,000 is only five trailers. Uh, what time do you stream, ye? Because uh, if it's any earlier than when I stream, I must admit I'm not usually up. Uh, Bit far. Come on. 
Right, how good of a shot? Lead rate medium, that's probably going down then. It would have been 4am for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's uh... I'm not, not typically up then. If I am typically up then, I probably ought to be shouted at for being up then. Uh, if I am ever up at 4am, it's just because I'm completely incapable of, like, actually taking care of my sleep schedule like a proper functioning adult. Okay. Oh, you've gone quite far. I guess it was not that great of a shot. Oh, is that your body? That's your body, there we go. Got my friends? No, okay. Where am I? I'm just sort of in the middle of some pine forest. Um, I could, if I wanted to really try hard, I could check the wiki to see what everyone is doing at this time. Uh, right, got him in the front. I guess the shotgun's really better for side-on shots, because it's got like no penetration whatsoever. Um, where am I headed? Do I want to stay in the pine forest? Just head north for a bit? Head north till I hit the river? Sure, I don't know anyone who's drinking right now, so... Let's see what this place is like. Uh, actually, let's see what other zones I've got. If I can figure out what people are doing right now. You can tell the times that I was coming through here as the, the need zone times slowly get later and later as I was progressing along. Uh, do, do, do. I'm not looking where I'm going so I'm probably going to walk into a tree. And then this is where all my new zones that I found got wiped out. Mm, okay, now I don't have any need zones from sort of 5 o'clock onwards-ish. That's a shame. Right. Oh, I'm not walking into a tree. That's nice. <laughs> I love the forest in the sort of the spooky mist, although it is very soon to be a forest in spooky mist in twilight, and that's a good recipe for getting A lost and being murdered. Hello? Who are you? You're a red deer, are you? Okay. Uh, slug. And this is apparently in the uh, feed zone, although you are very clearly sleeping. Do you have a male with you? Anyone with uh, antlers? I don't think so. That's okay. I guess we'll just pop two of you your closest to me. didn't hit the second one. I don't know what I hit on the second one, but I didn't hit the second one. Hello? Uh, anyone over there? Uh... Oh, I don't want to take that shot. Moving and through lots of brush. No thank you. No, I don't 
fancy that. That's okay, got one. I guess I just hit the hitbox of the dirt or something. It happens. Right. Lovely. Mm. Could have been a bit more central. Uh, we're heading north. I could follow them. They went, what, this way? I could follow them, it's pretty open over here. They might still be in sight once I get over the hill. Or they might have turned around and come back, because they do that. What's this? Oh, a bison! Yeah, let's head for the bison. It's good to know the bison is still north of this little uh, split. I think the bison have just finished eating? Right? This is my bison feeds out. Oh, boar! Boar are eating at this time. No, bison have just started eating. Okay, I did know what people were doing. And it's eating. Everyone is eating, actually. The red deer are eating, the boar are eating, the bison are eating. Just playing Minecraft, seeing it talk that much. That's okay. It's, uh,. It's nice to have you here, regardless of how talky or otherwise you are. You do every pair of eyes that I can entertain. I realise I don't entertain your eyes if you're playing Minecraft. Every pair of ears that I can entertain is uh, a job well done. I've completely lost track of where that bison call came from. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. Let's have a look over here. Is it over here? Mm -hmm. uh, no, no it wasn't. Well, there's a lovely long field of view here. This is very pretty. And if I was hunting with anything other than the super duper close range weaponry that I've got on me, this would be a great spot. <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, if I had a... Oh, that'll be a hunting stand, won't it? It's a shame I don't have, like, a ground blind or a tent on me. So that I could mark this place and come back. Uh, do I want to stick to the hill, ridge of the hill? So I can see both sides. It's fine. I mean, I'm also here to get me to affiliate, so it's very much appreciated. Uh, you know, the dream. Everyone gotta have one. Some people dream of electric sheep. Uh, I dream of reaching Twitch affiliate. That was a really bad joke. I don't deserve affiliate with content like this. Um, uh, oh, these tracks go this way. This is not the way I want to go. I guess I missed the bison. Well, I was, I was saying to my brothers, because my brothers are both... Oh, you're so close. Okay, we're going to go follow the bison. I was saying to my brothers, who are both economic students, about how... Oh, I'm, you know, because I'm, I'm a little bit lefty sometimes. And you're like, how I'm not so above it all. I want to do this thing for profit and this, that and the other. I'm like, no, like, I don't want to be rich. I was just, I just want to be, and I used the phrase, subsistence Twitch streamer. Um... You know, I enjoy giving others a laugh where I can, and I enjoy... Oh, I forgot the clouds do the weird thing above your head. <laughs> um... Oh, 
Let's just watch the clouds spin in a very uncloud like fashion for a bit. I've completely lost my train of thread, so whatever I was telling you about, I can no longer continue telling you about. Um, I assume that's something to do with how the skybox works, and it like comes to a point above your head. But I don't know, because I'm not actually a clever game design person. I'm not even a stupid game design person. Right. Come on, cows. Is it appropriate to call bison cows? Probably not. Right, what we're going to do... Ooh! What we're going to do is we're going to examine this need zone. Then what we're going to do is we're going to follow you guys, and then Yi here is going to bundle you all up into a big truck. And I don't know, what is it you, what is it you do with your 5,000 cattle? Are you selling them? Are you, are you taking them to the abattoir? That is the poshest way of saying the word abattoir that that is known to man, but okay. <laughs> well, once you have 5,009 cattle stuck in a truck, what do you do with them? You are resting from 2.30 to 5. Oh, okay, that's what you're doing when you're not drinking, I guess. Okay. Meat farm, okay. I'm just going back on myself, following these blooming bison. I want to know where you are, I want to know where you're going. I was sort of expecting that you'd stop for food. Given that it's well into your feeding time, or about halfway through your feeding time. But no, you're, you're walking on an empty stomach. the saddest fate I can imagine. They fight in the ring, they get 4,999 4 burgers. <laughs> Should you be feeding cows to other cows? Oh, hello. Bison mating call. I want to tag... That's not the zone. Never mind, ignore me. For some reason I thought there was a feeding zone thing over there, but there isn't. I'm just daft. Okay. Oh hell, the cows are downwind of me now. That's not good news. Well, if I want to do a sneaky sneaky... That's grass, that's not cows. Just stop calling them cows. It's probably really rude. It's probably not ruder than sneaking up on them and shooting them. So far away. Oh, is it even worth it? I'm like 100 meters away to 300 meters away. I've just got in a massive old circle. And I feel like a fool. Okay, right. Right, we're giving up on the bison chase. Giving up on the bison chase. Okay, right. We're gonna go back the way we've come. A little bit. Quite a lot, actually. Uh, we're gonna head north. We're gonna head north the way we were planning to head anyway. And if we meet any other bison that happen to be eating, then that's fine. But I could chase these guys all day. Because that's the, the thing that I found, is sometimes 
when you're tracking an animal, I don't exactly know how the AI works. But that fox I was talking about earlier, coyote, sorry, that I tracked for like seven kilometers. I kept expecting it to stop at a need zone and let me catch up, but it just didn't. Like I just followed it for most of an in-game day and it never stops to eat or drink or sleep. It was always wandering just a little bit ahead of me. Being a pain in my backside. So I assume these, these bison have, have similarly decided, you know what, who needs to eat today? I do. I need to eat today. I haven't had lunch yet. Because I still uh, I stream at midday. I never have lunch until afterwards. And that's normally kind of fine. Because normally I'm not spending my mornings doing groundwork. Oh, that's a deer. This is a red deer. Trap, but it's very old. One time you swear to god you saw a diamond albino elk. It's dumb level four shot it and it was a bronze. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well I mean if it was gonna be a bronze, then it was like even if it's messed up. A bronze that was messed up is was only ever gonna be a silver. Um but an albino is an albino, I'd still mount that. Uh that's a good point. I should go and find. Is this more of the bison rest zone? This, this is more of the bison rest zone, isn't it? I should go and uh, head to my trophy lodge and pull up that diamond deer that I found ages ago. It was like two, three streams back now. Also, starting to get late in game. Uh, I'm gonna need to pull out my night vision goggles real soon. Oh, this is a different rest zone. To this rest zone. All of the bison be sleeping. I ran another four shot at one place, so it was a bronze. Oh, when you say I ran another four, you mean you were multiplayering? I had I had naively assumed that when you said a, a level four, you meant you'd shot it with like a class four weapon, um, and that is what messed it up. Uh, uh, stop being behind me! Why is everyone back the way I came? I was just there. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going to put on the the night vision goggles. Oop! We're now seeing the world in green. Ah. Well, I mean, I have never played this game in multiplayer. I absolutely would if it was with, like, people I knew. But with just puppies? God no. Um, the, uh, the Call of the Wild Discord, well, it's the Hunter Discord, is full of people with horror stories from playing online with puppies. Although it's also full of people who are really upset when they join somebody else's server and the person whose server it is is using like a mod. And I'm like, well you joined their server, mate. Uh, but actually the, the whole community is very anti-mod in a way that I, I don't quite get. 
Like, the dev team's official stance is like, don't post in any of our public spaces if it- oh, hello! There's a roe deer and a bison. Bison is within king range. Oh my god, there's a bunch of bison. Didn't even realize. Hi guys! Can you slow down for a second and let me catch up? It's very difficult to see you in the dark. Like, really difficult to see you in the dark. Hang on. I gotta tag this so it's on my map. Come back! Come back! Where did you go? There you are. Can you, can you show me your side, please? Broadside? Hello? No? Okay, I'm gonna grab this real quick. I'll be right with you. Uh, lovely. Silver? Sure, whatever. Come on, come back. I don't know where you've gone. Show me your... Show me your organs. Bloody bison. Oh yeah, n now that you're over the hill you can show me your organs, don't you? Blimey. Okay, right. We'll slow down. We'll go into proper hunt mode. We'll do the, the classic human thing of slowly sneaking up on you. Where are you going? We're going sort of northwestish. That's acceptable. Oh, I hate the night time. I don't hate the night time. Sometimes it's very pleasant. I also strongly dislike the fact that I can't f really follow one of you from one set of tracks to the next. Um, where, where were you? Where are you? The sound didn't show up. There you are, hello. Hello mate, where are we? Oh, we're quite far away from where I shot the other one. Right, once I press this... What have we got? A level 4, level 2, level 1. Well, two level 4s stood right next to each other. Okay, you have to get out from behind the tree, and you're getting in each other's way. Oh, hell! Had no ammo! Your left. That's a close diamond, Dizzy. Okay, well, I'm glad you told me that after I took the shot, because I would have panicked otherwise. Right. Okay, that's two bisons down. All I need to do is find where they were. So I'm going to mark you on the map. Uh, oh, let's actually grab this out and reload the dang thing. So I will forget. And then I'll have no ammo when I need it. Okay, well, first body was quite far, quite quick. I always forget how much stopping power this bloody thing has. It's like, oh, bison? More like bison. Oh, dizzy. Why? 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 <clears throat> so 
Because I, I sort of assumed that bison would be diamonds if they were level 5. Um... So gold. Uh, yeah, diamonds at 270. Oh, I've got an achievement. The bigger they... What was it? The bigger they come, harvest 50 European bison. Oh, hello. Who's that? Who's that? Do I want to shoot you? You're a bit close. Oh, you're another level 4 though. You're a big boy. God, always with the head wiggle. What is it with you guys and the head wiggle? Can you come out, please? Can you come out of that tree? I'm apparently in a tree. Yeah, not you. I want your friend. There he is. He's having difficulties. Right, I need you to be above the sort of the ground level. There. Running. Oh my god, <laughs> that was awkward. He, he sort of called out and died halfway through. Okay. Oh, that's so much pressure all on top of each other, that's horrible. <laughs> Confirmed trophy, what have we got? You know, for a back shot, that wasn't terrible. I hate taking back shots, but that went alright. Partly, I think, because the gun is a bit obscene. Ah. Uh, do I remember to reload it? I did remember to reload it. Right, what are you? You're another nice shiny 220 gold. Lovely job. Okay, um, well, I wanted to see if it was possible to cross the river. It might be over here. That way I can sort of keep going the way I've been going. Although I, I, I kind of, I'm really digging this forest, actually. This area of pine forest, what is it, Northern Ernsdorf. Really quite enjoying this. I guess I'm sort of accidentally heading towards this lookout point, um, although I've not particularly been intending to, and I doubt we'll get there before three. Oh, there was also some deer poop. The road is like, I was here too! It's going to go home. It's going to be like, I survived North Ernsdorf bloodbath of 2022. <laughs> no, it's going to mark itself safe on Facebook. That's what it's going to do. I bet Rodeo's use Facebook. No, wait, it would be, it would be musk deers that use Facebook. Because they've got the, the teeth in their face. Actually, horns are on their face. Shut up, Dizzy. You're embarrassing yourself more than usual today. <laughs> I see that's where I've come from. Oh, not exactly. What way are the tracks going? We're going back the way I've come, though. That's okay. We don't need to exterminate literally every member of every herd of bison we come across. Uh, I should check what ammo I've got in this shotgun as well. Put the, oops, let's put the slugs in. Not the slugs, let's put the buckshot in. So I don't accidentally just evaporate a roe deer again like I did before. 
Mm, who's this? Who's this? A trap. Uh, it might be kind of small little feetsies, possibly. I wonder if there's like just a night vision goggles, so I don't have to be constantly holding the binoculars to my face. I can just see in night vision. Oh, I'm in John's dwarf now. Whenever you were, I'm guessing you've been long gone. It's very old. You were a, th a roe deer. Well, actually, I might be able to get across the river here. Rather than having to go all that way. Uh, around Riverside? No, oh my gosh, that's uh. That's quite the hill in front of me. No idea if I'm gonna be able to climb that. That's some tippy tappy footprints. Does that mean? I might have found another bison herd. Oops, hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, we're going left to right. Oh, oh, hello. I'm right out of the open. Getting some grass. It's the worst hiding spot. Come here. Come on. It's safe. You're much too far away to shotgun. I would like you to come a little bit closer, please. Um. No, 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 this way. This, this, this way. Do you not care that I'm squeaking your squeaker? It's a squeaker that was made especially for you. It doesn't squeak for anyone else. Well, it squeaks for other rodeo, I guess. It doesn't squeak for anyone who's not a rodeo. No, really? You're not fast, are you? Can't be bothered with the squeaker. Hmm. Too good for squeakers, are we? Oh, we've got a lot of meat zones here. There's a drinking zone here that I want to pick up on. There's a food zone over there. I don't really want to let the roadie get away, but I guess I might have to. I think actually he might have already got away. I didn't really want to try and cross that open ground. Okay. Drinking zone? Sure. I guess this is probably a bison rest zone? Bison rest zone. Long abandoned by now. Okay, now 
where did this deer go? Where are you? I'm gonna squeak my squeaker again, but the... Uh, he seems immune to the squeaker's charms. He was a roe deer, right? I'm not making that up. If he's a fellow deer, then he's like, excused from responding to the squeaker. Uh, as we have yet to invent any kind of call for fellow deer. It is fellow deer, but I don't have a call for, right? There you are. Hello. Uh, it's not you, it's a different one. But, still. Any deer in a storm. They say as it starts to rain. Like, I'm just that magic. If I say the word storm, it just rains. Uh, hmm. Any deer over there? Come on. Hmm, that's a bison track. It's not a deer track. Where was the deer? Maybe this was the deer. Maybe I'm the worst hunter. Oh wait, who's coming? Where are you? Yeah? I, I can sort of hear you. I don't really know where you are. There you are. I'll take a stop behind the tree. Oh, wow, well that works really well. Um, did I remember to put the things in? I did remember to put the things in. Wow, you went down fast. Oh, I guess that's what happens when you actually get enough penetration to hit an organ. You get, ah, oh, hit the spine. That's why you went down. There we go. That explains it. Right, where are we going now? What direction is the wind going? It's going south. Let's sort of head to here-ish. So I think that might be uh, an outpost. And it would be really cool if we got an outpost at the end of this without even sort of having necessarily meant to. Oh, stretchy times. Okay, now I'm feeling sleepy after playing this game. <laughs> There's more footprints. Oh, is that a new zone? No, it's a disturbed vegetation. Still here. Yay! And who's not still here? This deer. This deer has wandered off. Uh, this deer did not make those tracks. So these might be bison. That's not bison poop up there though. Oh my god, there's loads of tracks over here. This must be bison. Yeah, that's a bison poop. Okay, so the bison came this way. Uh, is that house up a massive hill? Because I've just realised that marker is a long way above me. 
Oh yeah, look, this is all hill. You can see them, uh, them contour lines. This is all hill ahead of me. Oh, and the mist is starting. You know what I said about being in a forest in the mist at night and being murdered? Well, actually I say that. The most dangerous things to my health, empirically speaking, have been Christmas trees, so... Maybe don't put too much store by what I say. However, mist plus night does not make for particularly good visibility, even when using the goggles of green glowiness. Right, so this is your first obstacle. Uh, uh, okay, hang on. Going up here and around, and this bit is less bad. Oh, oh come on, there we go. Come on, no, 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 there we go. Okay. Having just scared off every animal in a quarter mile radius, we return to slowly. Dear, yeah, I've not chosen an optimal route up this hill. There we go. Oh my god, look how steep this is! Maybe, just maybe, I'm not supposed to be going this way. I'm just gonna run, I'm just gonna make noise. Hell. Uh, oh, come on, come on. Back up here. Back up there. Uh, oh, no, that's a big slidey bit. Oh, no, no, come on, come on, there we go. Up here, up here. Uh, uh, yes, Skyrim. Yes, no, 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 come on, oh, oh, oh. We're doing it. Oh my god, that is sheer. Uh oh, don't jump off. Okay. Do I reckon I can do that way? Or do I want to keep going around this way? Uh, let's go that way. Oh, that's gonna slip me right down, isn't it? Come on, come on. Oh. Oh. The consequences for failure are various broken limbs. I do not have a lot of uh, health remaining. Uh, oh. Heck. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Oh, it didn't kill me. Oh. We are so close. We're 300 meters away. It's just that that 300 meters is all vertical. <laughs> oh, there's a radio call. Sorry, Rodia, I can't. I can't come get you. Okay. Now there's no more falling. Oh, there's no getting stuck on a rock either. Oh, this looks a little more palatable. Only a little more palatable. Uh, that looks horrible. Come on, get on this rock. Get on. 
This bit. Uh, he's stuck. No, no, okay. We've got skills. We're a gamer. Oh god. Come on, come on, Dizzy. You can, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. No, 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 I lost that progress. I don't think I'm getting up here. Definitely don't think I'm getting up there. This is quite a lot steeper than it looks on the map. Like, on the map it looks kinda steep. This is... very steep. Is there a bit on the map that looks less steep? Yeah, this is the bit that looks less steep. Hmm. Uh, uh, oh, whatever that was. What am I doing? Uh, I can tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not successfully climbing a hill. And the problem is though, I've sort of, I've got like a third of the way up, maybe halfway up, and I am loath to go back down. So I'm going to continue trying to climb the hill. Oh, this... that's good. That's a good stretch of progress we have there. <laughs> Even the game knows this is a horrible hill. It's got a name for it. Uh, oh dear. Um, can we... oh, we can maybe be gamers. Oh, 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 okay. This bit looks manageable. Ish. Oh, come on. I know I can get up there. There we go. Uh, That road is absolutely desperate for me to come down and get it. I refuse. I refuse, sir. I am busy playing Skyrim. Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. Uh. Okay. Up. Uh, ooh, over. Nope. Am I bouncing off? Is that a mechanic that the game has? Oh, come on, we're so close. We've closed 150 meters. Oh, oh. Are we there? Are we there? Oh my god, I think we did it. Oh wow. Whew. Who are we? Ah, oh, no hill can defeat me, hey? There better be a bloomin' house at the end of this. Otherwise I'm gonna I'm gonna riot. Uh I'll tell you what, there won't be at the end of this. Any animals. Any animals that listen to me slowly and arduously climbing that hill and stuck around. Don't have the brains they were born with. Ooh. I feel like doing a little victory song. Uh, I'm not going to, but I feel like doing it. It's interesting that that showed up on my map from 200 meters away. I wonder what the distance is for things popping up on the map. I had naively assumed that it was the 100 meter distance when that shows up 
when they first, like, appear in the overworld. Or, obviously, when you get a lookout point. Um, How long have we got? 20 minutes. Hmm. If this isn't a house, uh, an outpost, 20 minutes is maybe pushing it a little bit to get to the lookout point. But it would be kind of a shame to abandon all this progress in this direction, given that we are now so close to the lookout point. This is Johnsdorf West lookout point. It's not pronounced Johnsdorf because we're in Germany, but I'm going to pronounce it Johnsdorf. So I think John deserves to have a dwarf. Okay, right. Last bit of hill climbing to do. Uh oh, uh oh. No, it's fine. No. Mm. Come on, come on. You're no match for me, Hill. Whoa. Okay. No, I'm not coming down the hill. You can just stay. Oh, I've accidentally started typing again. Um, right, 60 meters. Eyes on the prize. Better be an outpost. It's an outpost! Oh yeah! I am living my best life ever because I beat the video game. I didn't beat the video game, but I beat this one self-imposed challenge. Oh, oh boy. Um, we will probably wrap up here as this is a nice convenient end point and a lovely victory of humanity over gravity and other related bits of physics. Um, wow. Oh, ghoul deck. And of humanity over heart attacks induced by foxes. I'll tell you what though, I'm feeling glad that I can read where the, the houses are on the map sometimes. That could be one, that's definitely something. Oh, I've gone past it. Okie dokie. Well, thank you everyone so much for joining me. Uh, this has been the Hunter Call of the Wild. Uh, if you've enjoyed watching, uh, please do consider dropping a follow if you're here with me on Twitch. Uh, also a big thanks to everyone who speaks up in chat. Uh, Fionn, it was lovely to see you for the first time, if uh, lightly intimidating. Uh, Yi, it's ob obviously always lovely to have you. Uh, if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, you can like the video or even consider subscribing if you want to see more of this and support me in, in my endeavours. As mentioned, I'd love to make it to affiliate one day. Other than that, my name has been Dizzy. Thank you everyone so much. Uh, this has been a blast. I've absolutely loved this today. Yes, yes, little Foxy, we know. Uh, and I will see you all tomorrow at midday for probably some Stacklands. Uh, which is cute, and I kind of want to try and finish it. Possibly get eaten by whatever happens in month 24 of Stacklands. It's going to be scary, but exciting. Alright, I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Ta-ra!